Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to click that like down below and smash that subscribe before you go. And if you turn on the notification bell, then you'll always get updated of all my content when it comes out. If you do buy anything from the Epic Store, then please consider using code RIVERFOX as it will help me out a great deal. And if you do want to keep up to date on all the information relating to River Fox and the channel, then do check out my Discord and Twitter accounts. The links will be in the description down below. Okay, and today then we are going to be taking a look at this awesome looking pistol weapon, uh, which you can get from completing your Holly Jolly ransom questline missions um, and when you get to the end then you will receive the paper shredder um, it isn't it's nothing like the super shredder um, which is one of my favorite snipers in the game um, does use a uh, shotgun ammo um, just like the paper shredder uh, but this weapon is nothing like that um, it is of course it is a pistol Okay, now when you first get the paper shredder, um, it will come with uh, some set perks on it. You will have reload speed. Um, this one will be automatically on damage. Uh, you've got the element physical and 32% damage. Uh, this one will, will still be crit damage, uh, but this last perk here will be damage to afflicted targets. Now, I have tried it on the standard perks that it came with. Um, it was pretty decent. Um, now, the only reason that I have changed um, some of these perks around is because... Um, even at a 106 it didn't have a very high crit chance um, so i wanted to try and add two crit ratings in it and the only way i could really do that um, was by taking out the 30 percent damage to afflicted targets now with this sort of weapon it does um, do damage to several husks around it um, and quite often will kill them outright. So I thought I would give it a try by taking out the afflicted targets uh, damage and changing it then to another crit rating so we can put the critical hit chance almost um, almost up to 50% really. Um, if I was to level this up to a um, 130 uh, with all gold rolls it would probably be over the 50% uh, which is fine. Now the hit uh, critical hit damage is only 140% so it's not the, the highest that we've had um, but it is it is pretty pretty good. Um, now I could have put in um, another crit rating up there and put this one then as a crit damage so we sh could have had you know double crit rating double crit damage um, but it's it's a little bit slow in my opinion on the reload so I wanted to try and have a reload speed in it just to try and make it a little bit quicker to to load up um, now it does say it's got a magazine size of four um, there but it seems to it reloads after every shot um, after every um, paper airplane that it fires um, it does seem to to reload so um, I don't know whether that's just a, a function of it uh, but it doesn't seem to, to like fire four bullets and then reload it just seems to to re um, f you know reload after every shot but that is the perks that I've got now we are going to do this now on two different loadouts um, I've got of course my standard Jonesy bot loadout which I've made a couple of changes to it just to make sure um, that there is literally no perks in here that are going to increase any um, of the damage of the weapon so literally it will be giving you the base damage weapon that that weapon can do um, once we have tested with that um, i'm going to try it then with my beetle jess which is my specific pistol um, loadout hero um, and that is the one i tested it out with just now so we're going to test out first of all with our jonesy bot we're going to go into a level 100 mission and let's test this uh, new weapon out Okay, so we have got a nice cluster of husks over here, including a blaster. So let us go for these and let's see how well these pistols do. 
Now that is the fire on it, which the fire is awesome. And what I have found is is probably better to actually aim more towards the floor than it is actually at the husks. So if you aim at the husks, sometimes, as with all aeroplanes, paper aeroplanes when you uh, when you fly them they don't always go straight they will sometimes go off at an angle um so that is that is the standard so this one then is one with the extra reload speed on it so let us um let's try us over here we've got some spawning over here i think we've got a big pile here anyway so I mean, I do love the way, I missed that one completely, the way it actually um, g flies through the air to go towards them. It doesn't do, it doesn't do the, the biggest amount of damage when it's um, just a, a standard hero. Like, see, that one completely missed, and that one, and I was aiming at it, and it still missed. So it's not the most accurate of weapons, um, but it is definitely a load of fun. Okay, now I have found a smasher. Now it is an elemental smasher, and of course this is just a physical weapon. Um, but let's um, let's try it out on these. Let's get uh, rid of these two first, if we can. Does it work against fridge guys? Is the question. Not too bad. Okay, come on, Smashy. Now, of course, I have no other abilities on here. I've taken out the war cry and everything off this. This is just the standard um, damage that it will do. Now, it's, it does okay damage. Let's try it back on this one then, is it? Now, it is a little bit quicker on this one. Did not exactly mean... To um, fall down there. But there we go. Hey, yep, get off there now. Okay. So, quite a few shots on a smasher. Now, I know it's an elemental, so it's not going to do the same damage as it would if this weapon was specifically aimed at the element that it is but um yeah you know it's still pretty good it's it's still not too bad even though it's um elemental but um what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go back now to the um go back to the menu i'm gonna change over now to my pistol dedicated hero um, and we will do the same tests with that one and uh, we'll see just how good the um, the new paper shredder is okay then so we are back and I have got my um, beetle Jess hero on which of course is my specific um, pistol loadout um, for uh, pistols SMGs and also aimed at critical rating um, of it so it's going to increase that critical rating so of course with the um, the first one that we've got here now this one has got the double crit rating crit damage and damage to afflicted targets and the second one is um, is the the same but with a reload instead of the damage to afflicted so I'm going to try it with the first one out here first and let's um, let's see how well it will uh, fare um, with this hero and as I say this one aims directly at it being um, yep Dang fire um, yeah this one aims directly at it being a um, critical damage boost so it's going to be giving more chance of that critical damage to it and I've also got the fumble of football on it which will help okay now of course it does help a vast amount if I actually shoot correctly um, but have we got one stuck in here 
somewhere. Target not yet located. Nope. Yes, we're going stuck in there. That was a miss. There we go. It's gone. Okay, so that was that was our uh, first one that has got the uh, damage to afflicted targets. So let's try it on this encampment then with our reload speed. And the thing I do like with this one is it does chain to other husks. So it doesn't just aim um, at you know the one husk it can do damage to a lot of husks around which is always a good thing let's um let's get over here a piece try and get this one if we can aim at him it will be a good start now i have noticed quite a lot that they don't always go where you are aiming the paper airplane at mm -hmm. sometimes it actually can go flying all the way around them which isn't very good it's a bit annoying um but you know with a paper airplane what do you expect it's it's gonna you know catch in the breeze it's gonna go everywhere um okay but we need to go and find ourselves a smasher so we can test it out on a smasher so i will get back to you very shortly this target's a tricky one Okay, so I have found another smasher. So let's try it out on this one. It's another elemental. Now, as you can see, I definitely aimed that at the smasher, um, but it completely missed. Even though I'm aiming at it, it doesn't always go in that direction. Let's get over here. Which is why I find it's better to actually aim it at the floor. Okay. Doesn't go through fridge doors, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a nuisance, but I will have the fumble of football. Ish. Absolutely useless against fridge guys. That is for sure. Where are you? Either way. Okay. Did we get him? Did we finally get the fridge guy at last? Okay. Now we have Shielder. Smasher, which will make it even worse. Okay. Right. So that's the the first one. Let's uh, let's go over to my second one now, which is is still okay, but it's not it's not really the most powerful against smashers as we know. But yeah, it's still still a pretty decent weapon. Um, we've got another encampment here, so why not uh, go for that? Um, I think even with the special pistol loadout um this is definitely more a weapon for fun um rather than anything else but it is a whole load of fun especially as christmas is coming um just let's get rid of those bees which is an annoying glitch if you haven't um, been playing very much these new beehives um, keep glitching that if you take damage from them, you will constantly take damage until you die. Um, if you've got the adrenaline rush, then you can use that at the moment, which will um, get rid of the bees attacking. Even if you're not standing near them, they will still attack you and keep attacking you until you die, um, unless you use the adrenaline rush. If you haven't got that, and unfortunately, all you can do is just wait till you die. Okay, so that is our paper shredder pistol, which it is a heck of a load of fun. Don't get me wrong. Um, if if you want it for doing um, some massive uh, clearing of husks, then I don't think it's really 
going to be the weapon for it. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't do too bad a job. It definitely doesn't do too bad a job. But there are better ones out there. And if anything, I think it really should be... Um, it should be an explosive weapon. It shouldn't be a pistol, in my opinion. Um, it should be an explosive weapon. And you'd definitely be able to do a lot better damage, I think, if it was an explosive. Um, but, you know, it is fun. Um, accuracy, if you've got poor accuracy like me anyway, um, is not a good thing. And definitely against <laughs> three blasters um, is almost definitely no good whatsoever. <laughs> But um, it is an extremely fun weapon. Um, I'm going to leave that encampment for now, I think. Nope, definitely leaving the encampment. Um, but yes, it is an extremely fun weapon to use. Um, just not really in high-end missions, to be honest. But for a cop it or drop it review, uh, I would still say it is worth leveling up. It is worth trying out um, because it is a whole load of fun. And especially at this time of year with Christmas coming um, and all this toy themes, then I think it is awesome um, to, to try out. But I think I will give it a score of... Seven. I'm going to give it a score of seven because it is extremely fun to use. But as a practicality weapon, um, it's it's not so great to be honest. But definitely still give it a bash. Um, it is so much fun to just to you know fire it and watch you know watch the the planes go in here there and everywhere. It is awesome. But I hope this review did help you out. If you did, don't forget to drop that like down below, smash that subscribe before you go, and if you turn on the notification bell, then you will always get updated of all my content when it comes out. But until the next time, I hope you have a lovely day, and stay safe, my friends.